Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the video. Today, I am Jacob, your, um, friend. Um, I hope so. Anyways, uh, I did not... I did not know what to say for the intro. Anyways, let's get right on into it. So, look, as you guys can see here, uh, the Overwatch 2 balance is out, you know. Uh, the patch notes are out. They're here. And I, instead of going through, like, the whole thing, I just pulled up a picture so we're gonna see if I can open this image in a new tab here and yeah we're just gonna look at it so as you guys know this is the mid season patch season 8 uh, there's a lot of nerfs that needed to be handed out MAGA was really strong now look I don't think <coughs> MAGA was that strong in the sense now hold on now hold on I definitely do think he needed to be nerfed however However, I think it was more of like he you could easily tell that like he was it was really hard for him to really hard to kill him because he had a lot of sustainability like it, I was playing the last day like before he got nerfed when I was playing him. I noticed a lot that he was just like you could just like shoot and just never die. Right. And like, of course you could die with or like they had a sig but the thing is is the pr the main problem was is that y if you were playing maga and you were like half decent at him the enemy team had to all focus on you to then kill the rest of your team and that's when you know it's kind of bad like the ana has to anti you so i was like okay i'll give you this example one of my last games i was playing was a junker queen and ana a kiriko no sorry it wasn't kiriko was it uh, maybe it was I don't remember um, But it was like they had a no they had Junker Queen Mercy Anna and like I forget the two DPS, but uh, I know one of them is May but like They were doing really good that game. You know, they were kicking my ass like of course It was definitely going back and forth a lot <coughs> Sorry, but they were really like they were going in, you know, and you had the junker queen anti with the ult You had the anti nade like about every 10 seconds, you know, so but that's the thing when they all have to focus on you Then like, you know, the rest of my team can kind of come in sweep in and do their job You know without getting bothered because they're focused on me So I do understand having to nerf maga. I, I was I was on the team of nerf him, but don't destroy him because I'm I'm a tank player and my thing is like <sighs> the past two tanks they've re released being Maga and Mantra, like I want them to be strong and because there's only one tank on the team, like if you're not including your like your quick play classic style game mode, like your no limits or whatever, then yeah, like you know, in the in like the game modes we can have multiple tanks, like I get it, you know. But stop balance. Don't balance for that. Balance for the main game, the competitive and the quick play, which quick play is basically competitive at this point. Just you don't get punished for it. And so it's just like they. I want them to be strong because there's only one thing on the team. I think everything in the game needs to be strong at something. And I don't like it that support is the strongest role like i think that's silly i think either dps or tank should be the strongest role i'm not saying support can't be strong what i'm saying is i just believe and that's me personally you know that support shouldn't be the most impactful they should have a high level of impact i think they should be like in the middle of the pack between dps and tank i think tank should be the highest impacting role then support then dps the reason why i say dps last is just because their whole job is just to do damage and everyone in the game does a certain amount of damage right? but like that's all the damage role is meant to do is just damage and get those picks and look at the important picks whether it's the get the support here get the tank there you know like it's they're just there to help fill in the, the extra damage right and maybe or like if you're playing main, you slow them more. Like you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. However, <coughs> there's only one tank on the team, so that means whoever's picking that, whoever's playing tank, whoever you pick, that's what your team kind of has to go based off. Of. And so if your team has to go kind of based off of you, 
like, speaking comparatively wise, like, obviously in a quick play, no one cares, but, you know, you're gonna have to, like, work around the tank, and so I think that's why they should be the most packable, especially because there's only one. Um, now, if this was, like, Overwatch 1, I would say supports, but this is Overwatch 2, where it's, there's only one tank, so... You know what I'm saying. Anyways, let's get on into this. Um, I have seen these and, you know, they're hit and miss for me. So, here we go. Alright. So, let's let's start with Maga. So, Maga, his base health has increased from 250 to 300. So, he has the same amount of health. So, he still has 650 health overall. However, he has 300 health now and 200 armor instead of 250 armor and 250 health. It's basically, it's a nerf right like yes he didn't lose any hp but he lost a lot of damage reduction <coughs> so i mean i'm glad at least he didn't lose any actual health numbers like he didn't go down from like this is better than going from 650 to 600 and just losing 50 armor at least he still has the 50 health so he'll be able to still take extra damage it's just not reduced uh so that's not too bad um and then his ammo is decreased uh so he loses 50 shots that is a lot. I would say I would have personally took 25 shots away. So he had 325. Lose 25 shots. Because, you know, he shoots. Like, he kind of goes through them pretty quickly. Uh, I would have done 25 shots. But, hey, you know, they did say that they were going to over nerf him potentially. And so they wanted to just be safe and sorry. And then guess what? In the next patch, if he's not performing well, they can bo boost him up again. For example, like giving him 25 shots back or something small. Uh, so his cardiac overdrive, um, he's gonna get only 60% lifesteal. I haven't played him yet, so I don't know. And then his cooldown is increased from 10 to 12 seconds. So I was actually thinking about this the other day. <coughs> so if you are in a game, uh, this was actually pre-nerf. Um, when I was playing, I realized there was those moments where I was in those fights and I didn't have the cardiac overdrive. And I was shooting, 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 shooting. And then I got it back, and then I was able to kind of save myself from death because of it, right? Because of the lifesteal. However, now that it's on a longer cooldown, those two seconds I had extra, you know, because it was only originally 10 seconds, those two seconds extra uh, gave me extra lifesteal, helped me live in that moment. But now that it's the two seconds more, you know, now it's 12 seconds, Am I, if I get into a situation like that, am I going to live it? Probably not, you know, because, I mean, obviously I'm always going to be getting lifesteal, but because I'm not going to be able to get that extra bonus lifesteal, like, you know, it's, it's a little unfortunate. Um, but it's a good nerf, I mean, I would have preferred just to take one of them, you know, like, I think what I would have done is I still would have done 12 seconds, but maybe 65% instead of 70, but like they said, they did say they were going to a little bit so maybe either keep the cooldown the same the 12 seconds because i think that's fair um you know but maybe do 65 percent who knows we'll see because they don't really do like 62 they, they don't do that right so we'll see cage fight this is a big nerf uh so he doesn't get infinite ammo anymore now he does reload still so let's say you're shooting you're shooting you pop oh you have your full ammo again however <clears throat> you don't just get to shoot forever and that does suck that does suck however what i would think i was thinking maybe instead of doing that specific like uh, don't give him the infinite ammo back that's fair but maybe give him like 400 bullets right so his ultimate gives him 100 extra shots because now he only has 300 shots right so give him 100 extra shots and then reload his thing so he's not shooting forever but he has the extra shots or give him the 50 shots back you know maybe 100 is too much give him the 50 shots back that actually is probably better right you give him his original ammo count that he had his 50 shots and then so yeah so he gets some extra bullets. so he doesn't get infinite ammo so it's still a nerf because he doesn't have infinite ammo but he does still have a little more ammo than he normally I would think that'd be pretty cool, but then again, hey, maybe it's too hard to code. I don't know. I'm not a game developer. 
And then his passive Berserker over health conversion rate decreased from 60 to 50. Another nerf just, uh, so basically the damage he does, um, the amount of health he can, or converts to himself is just, it's just slower. It's just not as much. Uh, so there's Maga nerfed. <coughs> um, and yeah, he's, uh, he's done for. Uh, well, we'll see. I'm gonna try him out later today. Uh, so we're gonna go to Arisa. So look, I saw Arisa. Uh, I heard about her. She's broken. Um, basically, she had fall damage, right? And so, or fall off damage uh, with her gun. So basically meaning you couldn't shoot from so far away. But now, that doesn't matter. You can be from any distance, any range. And it doesn't matter where you shoot from. You're always going to do the same amount of damage. Um, I would show you guys a clip. But just go to Flat's YouTube channel. He has like a little YouTube short probably on it by now. Um, but yeah, it's literally like she'll do the same amount of damage from anywhere. And if you know how much she does, that's pretty nuts. That's Overwatch 1 Arisa back into Overwatch 2. And then, not just that, her Fortify is immune to taking forced crit damage. So basically, Maga was like kind of a counter to Arisa. Because Maga would set her on fire, and then when someone's set on fire by Maga, that's he instantly gains the critical damage. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be in the head. But now, Arisa, every time he fortifies herself, it doesn't matter if she's set on fire by Ash or Maga. Maga's not going to get any crits from her. Therefore, he's not going to get... That's an inherent nerf to Maga himself, because now he's not going to get any health. Because he's not doing crit damage. And also, Arisa can't be crit. So yeah. Uh, Roadhog, take a breather. Um, <coughs> he does 50 less healing with it. Hey, it's okay, you know. I mean, it's gonna be okay, I guess. And then the cooldown is instead of one second, 1.5 seconds. It's a, uh, it's just a little overall nerf. So we'll see how he does, but I don't think that's too bad. So yeah, there we go. Moving on. Then we got soldier. That's it for the tank roll. Sojourn, gradual energy no longer decays below 25%. Um, so she's still really strong. <clears throat> I don't I'm, I'm still trying to have a hard time figuring out because I remember I watched somebody but I don't remember exactly what they said um, you know, I don't like I said I don't remember exactly what was said about it um, but yeah so like I said I don't remember sorry chat just give me a second um I don't remember exactly what was said, but all I know is um, basically her rogue gun charge is just not gonna decay. That's all I know. Anyways, I don't really have much to say. I don't play damage, so it is not a nerf. I think that's a bug. Somewhere. Uh, grace period where stealth can be can canceled immediately after entering it is increased from 0.5 to 0.75. Is that a good thing? Well, it looks like it's a good thing. Uh, cool. It looks like it's a quality of life change. Uh, cooldown now pauses at one second while capturing or contesting objectives. Okay, so another buff. This is 0.5 seconds left. And cooldown on respawning decreased from 1.5 to 1. Okay, so just another. So she just got overall uh, little, little like positive things there. Cool. All right, so supports you guys. I know you guys complain a lot, but look, your role is literally the strongest in this game. So shut it. Um, on a grenade, finally, fucking finally. I hate this fucking grenade. I do not care what you honor, freaking support player say. I have a friend who literally is like. He's like fucking is he grandmaster or some shit. <clears throat> I've fucking grandmaster friend, and this dude literally like that he just fucks around and plays on it, and this guy is goaded, right? This guy's really good at the game, but like still, Anna is stupid. She no way does she need to be doing this much damage. Like not damage, but the grenade is. For me, I've always said, if you're gonna nerf Ana, 
I would just change the grenade completely. I wouldn't make it like timeless, like where this is like the duration is less. I wouldn't do that. I don't care about that. What I want to do is just remove the fact of the anti heal itself. I would change it to where it's a reduced healing because you, so just because, like, I feel like when you're playing as Ana, if your team, or if you, like, yes, I know they give you the choice of, like, you oh, are you going to do it on your teammates, or are you going to do it on the enemy? And I get it, like, it's a choice, and the grenade is, like, what, a 12-second cooldown or something like that? Or 11 seconds? I don't remember. But the fact that it's, like, you just completely negate everyone else from healing, I, I just don't, I think that's too strong. I've always thought that's too strong from since day one i think it should be reduced healing i think it should be reduced healing by like 80 percent you know like so it still has the effect of oh my god it's really bad you know i'm not saying no oh 50 reduction of healing because that's it's not really a lot but like you know just get rid of it completely and like not make the ability useless and throwing it on an enemy but the fact that it's like it's just a reduction of healing so like a 80% reduction or shit, I don't know, a 90% just so that m my team doesn't feel like, oh, great. Now we literally can't do anything, you know, but then that would bring up the thing of, oh, well, what about Junker Queen? What, like, if you're going to do it to her, you got, I would say no, because Junker Queen, hers is an ultimate. There's a difference between a 10 second ability and an ultimate that takes maybe, you know, that takes some actual effort to get you see what i'm saying and junker queen she has to go out of her way to hit you with that ultimate for you to get the anti effect so i would never change junker queens however i would definitely if i could i would definitely change anna's uh you know maybe i'm crazy and maybe no one agrees with me i don't know but um that's what i think Alari, uh, moving on. Uh, primary fire gain is no longer paused by secondary fire, nor channeling captive sun. Okay. <coughs> um. So, oh, okay. So basically, okay. So that's a little just a little buff. So basically, when she um, how do I explain this? Uh, when she shoots her beam, right? So when she shoots her beam, it would have paused her like charge back up, but now it's just not gonna. It's not just gonna pause it. So there you go. And then now she has 16 ammo. Also, she is removed from the game right now because she does have a glitch where she has infinite ammo. So they're gonna fix that. So yeah. And then her Captain Sun ultimate now refills secondary fire resource and resets overheated status. That's nice. And then remove the damage fall off penalty, and that's nice as well. Uh, I still think Alaria is pretty strong, but hey, you know that wrong with it, I guess. Uh, Life Weaver, you going they gonna need a bro. When they took away, like when they nerfed him, I was so pissed. I was so pissed. Cause I like Life Weaver, okay? I do. I think he's a good character. However. Uh, the state he's in, he's just trash. So, anyways, um, so we got, so he's got 80 meters per second for his projectile speed, and then the platform is no is no longer pierced by piercing projectiles, and that's cool. I guess. So, like the spear. All right. Well, chat. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, I will catch you on the next one. As always, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, until next time, guys. Peace out. Bye bye.